Okay, in this problem, uh, we're taking the function y equals e to the x minus 8, uh, bounded by y equals 0 and uh, the x values of 8 and 10. Uh, so I've graphed the uh, the graph here, the function, which is e to the x minus 8, uh, it's this graph, and it's bounded between x equals 8 and x equals 10. So we're looking at this region right here. And we're taking that region and we are rotating it around the x-axis. So we're going this way. Okay. So our formula for this is going to be, in general, pi times the integral from a to b r squared dx. Okay. Um, our radius is, of course, defined by the function here, uh, e to the x minus 8. Okay, so it's going to be pi from 8 to 10 of e to the x minus 8 squared dx. Okay, now we want to um, go ahead and distribute this square. So that becomes pi from 8 to 10, the integral from 8 to 10, e to the 2x minus 16 dx. Okay, we're going to have to do a little u substitution. So I'll go over here and I'll say that uh, u is equal to the exponent 2x minus 16. That means du uh, is going to be uh, equal to 2dx. If we divide both sides by 2, we get dx is equal to du over 2. Okay, so we can sub back in the integral. We still have pi. Create our new limits in a second. We have e to the u du over 2. Now, of course, since we've changed the u, we want to go ahead and change our limits uh, accordingly. So we'll use this formula e, or our u is equal to 2x minus 16. Uh, so u is equal to 2 times 8 minus 16, which is 0. That's our lower limit. And u is equal to 2 times 10 minus 16. That's 4. That'll be our upper limit. Okay, so this becomes the integral pi over 2 from 0 to 4, e to the u du. Uh, the integral, or the antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u. So this becomes pi over 2 e to the u evaluated from 0 to 4. Plug in our upper limit, we get pi over 2 e to the 4 minus plug in our lower limit e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so we get pi over 2 times e to the 4 minus 1, and that's your answer.